Good morning guys! How is everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. I think I'm a little bit ahead with the videos so this might not be relevant but Mother's Day was very lovely. We just had a family meal, the men all cooked. We didn't do presents but I did get a lion which was just the best. Today I've got a really nice chilled feel good vlog for you. I'm gonna be doing a few things that just make me feel zen, feel good and it's like a calm vlog that I feel like you guys will really enjoy watching. I've got no makeup on so let's start with skincare. Guys I I've been loving my skincare routine recently. I'm using a few products that I just absolutely love and are making my skin feel so good and it's giving me so much confidence. This is my skin at the moment. I'm 36 years old. <laughs> I always have to think about that. And yeah, it's working out pretty well right now. One of the products is from La Roche-Posay and I'm so excited that they're sponsoring this video today. It's a brand I've used for years, totally trust and have recommended to you guys many times as well, but it's a new product. This is the Mella B3 Serum. Here's a little close up. So let's talk quickly about hyperpigmentation. I first started to experience hyperpigmentation when I went through my first pregnancy. For me, I mainly suffered hyperpigmentation on my upper lip like dark spots on my upper lip. I had no idea what it was at the time and it totally knocked my confidence. I felt really frustrated. It was this really like dark area on my upper lip and it just made me feel like super self-conscious. Now that my skin is aging, I seem to get hyperpigmentation more when I get like a spot or a blemish and my skin just seems to mark more easily. I just wanna start off this section of the video by saying that if you also suffer from hyperpigmentation, just know it is so common. 50% of people experience it and it is is nothing to be ashamed of. I wish I knew more about it when I first went through it. But I'm so excited to share this new product from La Roche-Posay, the Mella B3 Serum, because it has targeted actives in it that are actually gonna help fight hyperpigmentation. So if you or anyone else you know is suffering with it, found something that works. Okay, so let me just get this on my skin so that I can look glowy and fresh whilst chatting to you more about the product. I just apply like two to three drops in the morning put it into the palm of my hands, and then press it onto the skin, making sure I get all those areas where I get hyperpigmentation. It's so good, it's not sticky, it absorbs really quickly into the skin, and it leaves a really lovely glow on the skin. Can you see that? Okay, so let's get into the details. The Mella B3 Serum is clinically proven to help correct dark spots. The hero ingredient in this is something called Melacil. Melacil's been in development for 18 years and it's multi-patented. It's mega. The Melacil is paired with 10% niacinamide, which you might also know as vitamin B3, and some other dermatological actives. Okay, now here's the sciencey bit on how it actually works. It's a pigment inhabiting molecule, which basically means that it traps the melanin at a new stage of its production before it marks the skin. So that means it not only helps to lighten the appearance of existing hyperpigmentation, but the melacil will also help to prevent the appearance of future dark spot discoloration. When I last met with La Roche-Posay, I was talking to them about how like all the different generations of women in my family have suffered with hyperpigmentation in some form. Myself, like I said, my mum, my grandma, because like all skin that ages, it's normal to suffer from hyperpigmentation from things like sun exposure, or old blemishes, or even just from like the everyday elements. So they kindly sent one for my mom and my grandma too, which was so nice. So like I said, I use this in the morning. So it's super important to wear SPF. It just makes sure that my skin is protected throughout the day. Because the key thing for hyperpigmentation is to correct and then to protect. And you can do this with the targeted serum and with the SPF. Guys, it is just working. This is a little close up of my skin. It feels great, it looks great. And if hyperpigmentation is something that you are worried about, this is a really fab product. And as always, I will link everything down below in the description box, all the information you'll need and links. And thanks so much to Lorsch Posay for working with me on this video. Skincare done, let's make some breakfast. My brother-in-law bought all the mums in the family some tulips. So I'm just gonna pop these into a vase. I thought this little milk bottle would be cute. Okay, let's make a Korean inspired brunch. This is what I want on a gloomy, dark day when I wanna just feel good. I'm so ready for this. Okay, let's put this all together. I've got day old rice. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, two fried eggs, the spring onion, 
pour over a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, a tiny bit of gochuan, and then I'm gonna just top that off with some delicious kimchi. This looks incredible. Smells good too. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of the kimchi, a little bit of the egg, a little bit of the rice. Can I fit this all in? Mmm, that is so good. That is my perfect brunch meal. I've seen that also sometimes people take a little bit of nori and then they take their chopsticks and they kind of use it to pick up the rice. Mmm, that's so good, but my nori's not fresh enough. It needs more of a crisp. I'm actually just gonna eat with my chopsticks because I prefer it. This is so good. I'm doing something pretty nice today, actually, which I'm excited to take you guys with me for. I'm gonna be going and painting some pottery. I'm not gonna be gone long. I reckon it'll take me like an hour max, but I need to make a gift for someone, and I thought that's just such a nice thing to do, like a hand-painted piece of pottery. I wish I could make the pottery myself, but that is a lot harder to do. So I'm gonna paint a piece of pottery for someone as a gift. It's gonna be a solo date. I'm going on my own. I highly encourage you to do the same if you ever get the time or the chance. I wish I did this more pre-kids, but just take yourself on a solo date somewhere to do something you love. I think I'll take my headphones and I am very much looking forward to it. Guys, this is so good. Right, I'm gonna eat this. How strange do we think it is if I take my own paintbrushes with to the pottery place? I just feel like they never have thin enough brushes if I wanna do writing or like tiny detail. I'm gonna take these with. I think I'm going for a plate, like a little cake dessert plate. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna start and see where it goes. Got all the colors here, and you've gotta do three layers if you want it to be like dark, and anything you don't paint just stays white. I wanna keep it quite simple. I wanna use red, and as tempting as it is to like go full out on this, I think I'm gonna try and like tone it back, keep it classy. Mm. Do I go for nine or 10? Those are both nice reds. I'm gonna go in first with a pen that burns off when it goes in the kiln, so I'm not just totally going in freehand. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Mm -hmm. So I've just outlined the edge of the plate and done like a squiggle. You can't really see it because I haven't painted it. And then I think I'm gonna outline this like inner rim as well and then just write something in the middle and just keep it super simple. You watch the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know tricky to go over three times without ruining the original pattern and like just making it thicker and thicker each time. I've done two layers of this like inner circle. Let's keep going. The squiggle is hard. What was I thinking? I'm not entirely sure I'm breathing. I can't possibly do this three times. <laughs> I lost count of how many times I went around the edge, so it might be a little bit uneven, but I've done that bit so far, and I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna write in the middle just a slice, try and do some kind of nice handwriting. I've written it out, I forgot to film it, but now I've gotta try and paint over it. Guys, I think I'm finished. I've written just a slice with a little heart. It looks really plain now, but I think when the red pops, it will look really nice. We are losing light. It may not look like it. The camera likes to make it look brighter than it is, but it's so dark. It's a little bit later in the afternoon. I am buzzing to see what that plate comes out looking like, by the way. I think it's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna have to wrap this video up soon because it feels like midwinter. <laughs> what is going on? I've got a really busy week this week out and about. So I'm just trying to utilize a little bit of time at home whilst I can. Starting to plan Gray's birthday party a little bit. And I always try to think of going home presents, party bags that are kind of sustainable or useful in some way. Last year, I don't know if you remember, I bought those little cardboard letters and gave the kids things that they could like 
paint and decorate it with stickers and stuff. I'm gonna dabble with the idea of making the kids bracelets with their initial on. So I'm just gonna do one as like a little bit of a test. How do I know how big their wrists are though? I'm just gonna cut a little bit of elastic, if you can see that. And then I've got all of these little beads. They're not even beads. Sorry about that. I've got these kind of little beady things and I've got a few little letters. Okay, so let's say I'm making it for, let's make one for gray. I found a G. Wow, everything's very small and fiddly. <laughs> Where's the bracelet? Okay, here, I'm gonna tie it a couple of knots at the end. This is the bit in the video where I wish I could have like a back and forth chat with you guys. Imagine if I could just be like, so how are you guys doing? Let me know and then you can just chat. If you're watching the video right now and you're able to get to the comment section, leave me a comment telling me what you are most looking forward to this summer. I would love to hear from you guys. I feel like it's this point of the year we feel like winter's over. On the weekend, we had like a really sunny day and then it just keeps dragging you back, doesn't it? Gray is a pink gal. So, oh, I feel like I'm gonna need like little tweezers. This is super fiddly. Okay, oh my gosh, this would take forever. Already regretting doing this. She is only having like 15 kids to her party though. So it is kind of doable. I've also been to a kid's party where they give you like a little, a little bag with all the things you need to make your own bracelet with your name on, which is really cute for the sort of kids like Grey who love making things and will actually do it. I guess I could like put those together. I just feel like a bracelet's already made, they're more likely to just like be excited and put it on. Okay, wait, I've done one, two, three, four, five light pink. And now I'm gonna go for five bright pink. I wish I could like fast forward myself in actual real life. Gray is in reception at school. So that's the first year of school in the UK, but I'm pretty sure kids in the UK start school earlier than like any other country. She's only four. She's gonna be five. But it's really quite amazing. She's like already reading and it's so amazing to see it happen. How they teach it now is so different, I think, to how they taught us. But anyway, I ordered some alphabet magnets for the fridge, which I feel like is something we've always had, like my mom's house and my grandma's house, but normally for younger kids, like Rudy's age, just to like play with. And then actually I realized for Gray's age, they're really useful. So what I've started to do is kind of write little messages on the fridge at night when she's asleep or write the day of the week or I don't know, words I know that she can read. And then when she comes down in the morning, she can read what's on the fridge and it's like a fun way for her to practice reading without it seeming like, let's sit down and read a book. Like I'll put the day of the week or I'll put like book bag as a reminder to take her book bag into school. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, I mean, it feels really obvious, but like I said, we've always had alphabet magnet on the fridge but never actually thought about using them as a way to practice reading. This is gonna take me forever, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I'll make one for Grey because she'll love this, but I think I just need to make life a bit easier for myself and not give myself this painful job. You can get little pottery painting sets which are very cute for going home gifts because like I said, it's something they can like do, it's an activity. Something I was supposed to do today, which I'm majorly putting off, is going through my kids' clothes and changing over the seasons, checking what actually fits them, what I need to give to charity, what I need to write down to get more of. I'm, I kind of dread it. Like, it's really cute when they're babies because all their clothes are so tiny and cute and now it just feels quite daunting. I'm not doing it today. I'm definitely gonna put it off for another day. Well, look, I've done a light pink, dark pink, light pink little variation. I've got quite a way to go. I'm not entirely sure why I've been so creative recently, just craving all the creative things. Painting in my little sketchbook pottery painting. I've just been loving it. I think if you are wanting like a way to unwind or a way to have a bit more like you time and reconnect with yourself a little bit, I would say try and think back to what you enjoyed when you were younger and find the adult version of that because it seems to be working. I think if there's something you really loved when you were a kid, quite likely that somewhere inside you still love that thing and it's really fun. Same with like sports and stuff as well, like what did you like when you were younger? And give that a go. I think if you're feeling a little bit lost, you want some new hobbies, you're not really sure where to start. You know, maybe you loved 
a debates team at school. There'll definitely be like adult versions of that. Book clubs, I'm all for an adult hobby. Still really wanna try crocheting. <laughs> I just need to find like a beginner's kit. How do I know when to go to the middle? Guys, I just finished the whole bracelet, tied a knot, went to stretch it to kind of put it on or see if it would work. And it broke and went everywhere. Incredibly frustrating, definitely not doing that again. <laughs> Guys, I'm ending this vlog. The same place I started it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check out the description box for like everything, including a link to the La Roche-Posay Mela B3 serum. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.